Awesome. Seatbelt. <laughs> Ross seatbelt. What? Oh yeah. Seat Good idea for seatbelts. That's a good idea. So this is the Grenadier. Is this that how you pronounce it? The Grenadier, yes. So we've been our dealership's been here since March. Um I'm actually the used car manager. So oh, okay. <laughs> but I happened to run a off-road club out of Hamilton. They're like, hey, do you want to come run off-road track all weekend? I'm Thank like, you. Sure. This is a luxury SUV. I think it's been around two years now, at least. Um, in uh, Canada, we've actually only been here since March. Right. Um, and as far as the UK, Africa, stuff like that, yeah, about a year and a half. Yeah. Very utilitarian vehicle. You know, everybody's going to be impressed yeah. <laughs> what this vehicle can do. <laughs> and what's the asking price? So they range anywhere between around 93 upwards to about 120 before luxury tax and tax and everything else. Um, and basically, um, it's really cool. There's a base model, there's an off-road model, which is what we're in, and then there's the kind of luxury model. But I kind of compare it to Lego. You can kind of build it as you wish. So they're almost like stepping stones. You can start with the base, you can get you know combo number one which will give you the off-road package you can go up to combo number two or you can kind of build it however you want so well, you fries a... with that <laughs> <laughs> you can um have you know an absolute base model but put leather and heated seats in it and that's it or you can have a base model and put everything that the luxury model would have so kind of cool so if you do you order it and then it delivers uh, in a certain time period or? yeah absolutely so online you have a great build and price tool and then you order it online um, and then it shows up at our dealership, and uh, yeah. we do have a couple in inventory right now, so uh, you could come by and pick one up right away if it suits your fancy. And you might have uh, four used ones available soon. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> this one actually is provided to us from Grenadier, so it's not even our car. So we can uh, put some scratches on it. <laughs> That's nice. Scratch away. <laughs> I took another vehicle and yep. it looked like some of the trees have already been kissed. Yeah, a few times. Which vehicle did you drive? Uh, the Pathfinder. Okay, so you, you probably didn't go down the track we're going. No, no, no we stayed right. And, <laughs> we're going to go left. We're going to go left. <laughs> That's what I mentioned to him. So yes. You got to go left. <laughs> and my wife wanted to go left. I did. Go left. <laughs> so right now I have the vehicle in low and locked. So this vehicle features three locking differentials. Um, the center one, um, which uh, are standard on all the vehicles, can be locked, spreading 50% power to the front, 50% power to the back. The second we get uh, to one of the more severe slopes where there's three or four really big holes, mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn our front and rear locking diff on. So that sends 50% power from the front diff. So now we're 25, 25, 25, 25 okay. evenly. If you don't have those locking differentials on, what happens is the wheel that has no traction gonna is going to spin and all the power to the vehicle is going to go there because power goes to the path of least resistance, yeah. right? So with the locks, I mean, we can distribute the power evenly. The wheel that is slipping doesn't cause the other wheels to lose power. We use those other three wheels to push our way up. Once we get past the... Uh, fork in the road here we'll kind of be on our own because I don't think any of these vehicles go down except for us and the Jeeps so. it is cool to see the uh, the Nissans lift a wheel though that's common on a truck because of the long <laughs> wheelbase yeah now are we going to see this vehicle like back and forth on the KDW or the 406 or something like that is someone going to buy this we have for that? we have sold roughly and delivered roughly around 95 units since March Wow. So there's 95 of them out there. I would say a chunk of them have gone to Quebec and Newfoundland, Labrador, and PEI. Um, and then we have a lot of customers as well, kind of in the Burlington, Waterdown, that area. What they choose to use this thing for, whether it's just a weekend worry to get up to the cottage, you know, or it's just, you know, a fun toy. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start, hopefully start to see them a lot more. And, uh, yeah, come by the dealership because we got a lot to choose from. There's a lot of hockey bags back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, mileage? Uh, fuel consumption? Yeah. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Roughly around 14 to 15 liters per hundred. So nothing out of the ordinary from a full-size truck. Yeah. You know? Um, Wait, it's a V8 engine? No, it's actually a BMW inline six. Gotcha. So it's the same engine that's in the X5, same transmission that's in the X5. Um, that's why you can kind of see the borrowed shifter there. Yeah. BMW coffee, would have known. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're gonna go for the dash. We're gonna go left. Look at that traffic jam. <laughs> you know, those guys going up, you know, chopping roots and stuff. Here we go. So there's these big holes here. I'll give you guys the options. We can go through them or we can go around them. I would love the experience. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna lock up here. Um, let that set in. It's in and um, might get a little bumpy, but here we go. That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm just going to unlock our front because we do a lot of tight turns and it's kind of nice to actually have it spin freely. Mm -hmm. Is this guy's skid plate underneath? Oh yeah. There I was go. hoping. <laughs> I was hoping that's what was it. <laughs> Not the drive shaft. No. But they're very built, very tough. Yes. They're built on purpose is the slogan. Oh, yeah. I'm, they were like, hey, do you want to drive all day? I was like, yeah. Happy to see yeah. Seat on. <laughs> and this has pretty much everything. Like, you can load it up? You can load it up as far as other vehicles kind of within the price range. Some people will find that it maybe lacks the luxury items. Like, there isn't an adaptive cruise. There isn't, um, you know, self-parking or driving features. There's no massage, I, I use any massage seats. <laughs> this thing is built to do one thing and do it really well. Yeah. And it is a nod to a more of an old school style before there was switches and everything else. So it should, you know, last a bit longer is kind of the idea. So we can see some articulation here. No, that's unfortunately um, just any vehicle like us, a Wrangler, G-Wagon with that flat windshield, yeah. the second you get one rock, it just yeah. whack, it explodes. Um, so. so you can get optional hitches and stuff like that? Absolutely, from factory, if you do get the trailer tow package, it will tow up to 70,000 pounds. <laughs> Um, which is pretty impressive considering the vehicle is 7,700 pounds, so it'll basically tow itself. I don't know about you, but I'm not bench pressing my weight right now. So. <laughs> Those days are long gone. Yeah. <laughs> Quite run anywhere with a little drive. Exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is actually part of Old Hog's Back Trail, okay, which kind of goes name. all the way back down to um, Ajax, like it's a long track. Now this kind of gets tight, I might have to reverse, I might not, let's see. Oh no, he did it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely uh, going to get soupy in here <laughs> throughout the day. Soupy's good. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. You don't um, have dirt on the vehicle or you didn't have enough fun? When I'm doing no, off-road okay. tracks, it's, I hope for rain. It makes it a little more fun. Hey, we're getting out of the truck soon. We don't want... We're not yeah, going to rain. No, no, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> well, yesterday, unfortunately, it looked like they had to close the actual racetrack. <laughs> oh. So what? Uh... 
Oh, that's weird. They're going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to go through this. <laughs> there is a little two-way section there. That's it. Here comes the soup. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, probably about ten or twelve. Which is pretty cool. And then you have the option of changing the color of the, the frame underneath. You can get a, like a bright red, a silver, or just keep it black. And then the roof as well. There's multiple colors, so you can kind of do a, okay. a mix and match. For a fee. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's free. Right? <laughs> Nothing's free. Now we're going off roading through souping up hills with yeah. bumps do you do you climb or do you go at a consistent speed or what's the best way to get up hills in these vehicles? so the best thing usually is that's why you want to keep it in a low range yeah the vehicle then kind of adjusts how the, the throttle input works okay so i can really keep it at just a my foot just barely on it and it kind of just crawls and eats at it and just mm -hmm. kind of gently keeps its thing um i'm really not applying more pressure going up if we want to I could um, but it's really just kind of a, a crawl keeping momentum moving forward mm -hmm. which this thing does really well um, obviously with its weight it wants mm -hmm. to just kind of keep the momentum forward mm -hmm. there's key EV9 that I just drove yeah <laughs> so how does this track go compared to a I haven't driven down a yet well, it's way quieter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And there's a section here. You get stuck. That I got stuck. This won't get stuck. I got the Pathfinder stuck in. <laughs> but I think that was, I don't want to say that was the Pathfinder. I think that was me yeah. not applying enough pressure because I was... Don't want to break it? I don't want to break <laughs> it. Yeah, I get that. But then the young lady in the back said, Oh, um, we hit a, this tree yesterday, yesterday and we hit lady. that tree yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, just go for it. Hey, so, no, he's whoa. talking about the other lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not me. See, this is the one where you come to have a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, everything I've said about uh, slow and steady and maintaining momentum, but sometimes just a little bit of foot down will yeah. we'll do it. Absolutely. I think it was right here, please. Is it there? Yeah. Let's see how soupy we're getting. Slip slide. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised that that vehicle is here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it just shows you if you have... I'm not uh, sure I would ever take that vehicle here. No, but it just shows you if you have power going to all four wheels, what a vehicle can really actually do out of the box. I don't think our Mustang <laughs> You can bring your Mustang in, you just can't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Where's the Grenadier? <laughs> the toy hitch. You're sitting up fairly high, too. Yeah, which is really nice for an upright position. You can kind of actually see over the hood everything else. How about taking it? to say downtown Toronto to a hotel and parking it in the parking garage. So parking garages, we are a bit taller than any standard F-150 Ram 1500. So okay. there are some parking garages that you could lose a layer of clear coat off the top. <laughs> so pay attention to, but does this have a suspension where you can lower? No. So okay. again, it's all old school. So this is straight coil suspension, no adaptive suspension. It is stiff and meant to do this. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't lower for fuel economy on the highway. Or... Ooh, because that stuff tends to go over time, especially in cold temperatures. It's tough not to get to unclick that button on when you're building price. Everything is being, oh, we throw that in, we throw that in. I don't want to get, yeah. 
Well, everything's on packages, right? Yeah, everything's don't, on packages. Don't get just one thing. Instead right. of just get the Alpine sound system, you're going to pay for nav yeah. and security features. And all of a sudden, just to get Alpine sound system, you're paying four grand. Right. Yeah. Well, that's all I get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do. Well, McDonald's, you know, you pay $3 for fries so you have a drink. Well, that was a pleasure. Thank you very much. It was fantastic. Seats are super comfy though. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank, thank you. you. Have fun your, driving. Finish your breakfast. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, before someone comes. Keep them away. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you.